couple things as opposed to a normal lateral raise. Um, one, just the fact that you're lying back on a bench just eliminates everything else. So like when most people do lateral raises, obviously like their ankles, their knees, their back, like everything starts to move. It keeps your form honest first and foremost, making sure your whole body like can't move. Um, and then the other things I like about it, as I say, it has like again, a better profile. Like if you do a dumbbell raise, it's just really, really hard here. And the rest, like you're kind of taking a nap. So just by, that's the whole reason we cross the cables is basically when you're at the bottom, there's still some tension. You know, it's kind of hardest somewhere in the middle-ish and actually gets a little lighter to the top, which is closer to how your delts can actually handle load. Um, and then I like it too, because it's also the bench aside from keeping things still gives you feedback. Like a big thing people say when they're doing delts sometimes is they feel their traps. Like it's hard to tell if like you're shrugging or not shrugging. And because you can actually feel your shoulder blades on the bench, it's like feedback to like, okay, like I actually feel them staying still or I feel them to move. And like, it gives you feedback to like, okay, stop, don't do that. Um, and then aside from that, like I just like the cuffs, the whole reason for that, you could do it with handles if for anybody at home that doesn't have cuffs, um, but it's just like one less thing to think about. Um, so to warm up, all we're gonna do is, so once we get going, we'll just do like normal kind of control, the reps, same as everything else. But just as a warm up, we're gonna do like um, emphasizing like just the top of the range, just the bottom of the range, and then some really slow full reps. And it's just for the idea of like, this is the only time, same as every other warm up thing all weekend is like intentionally keeping it slow and intentionally practicing like most people mess up at the ends of ranges. Think wide, Dana. Good, not up. Control. No bounce in the bottom. Hard wide. And back to it. Just a couple here. Keep them pretty. We're not doing a million on these drops. Same pace, same control. Hard, good. Slow, 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 slow. Good. Just a couple more, slow. Smooth transition, push wide, push wide, push wide. Down slow, we got two. No bounce, wide. Nothing changes, couple more, control. Smooth transition, hard squeeze. Don't you bounce, two more, keep them perfect. These are the ones that count, hard. Good, Dana, down slow, down slow. One more, and don't relax. We've got some of the bottom half, hard squeeze. Now just the bottom, let them all the way down. Don't let them relax, straight here, right here. Quick, 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 go five, go. Four, three, two, last one, good. And again, same cue, just think wide. We don't need to change anything, we'll just leave it. And just not quite that far back. Just think like you're reaching to the walls to finish. Stop for just a second. Straighten your elbows just a little bit and turn them up just a teeny bit. Yeah, not a lot, just a little. Yep, and now push them straight back. Good. Straight wide, hard squeeze. Good, control. So, go right here. Straighten your elbows just a little bit. Turn them out. We're gonna go basically straight out. We're gonna only come like right about here at the bottom. Yep, straight wide. Good, don't shrug, just push the hands wide. Good, right to my hands, straight out. Good, right to my hands, straight out. Mm -hmm. Come on, Dan, keep going. This is relaxed, no traps, push wide, push wide, keep going Dan, keep going, push wide, come on, don't stop moving, they just keep moving, push wide, come on, no breaks, come on, push out, push out, come on, we got five, five, four, three, two, last one, drop them, arms straight, shoulder blades kind of forward, push out, push out, keep pushing, keep pushing, don't relax, don't relax, keep pushing. Fight it, fight it, fight it, Dana. Come on, keep pushing. Everything left in there. Keep going, come on. Don't relax. Five, four, three, two and a half, two, one. Good job. Good set, Dana. Let's go do some front belts. We haven't done those yet. If there's anything I'm going to be slightly different on this than for what you've done before, as you come to the finish, think about bringing your bicep into your ear. 
So you can kind of just press up to finish, like kind of tricep it to finish, or you can make sure that you're actually finishing it like with the intent yep. of a cross to the front delt. So from there, it's again, just gonna be nice, drive across, and then I'll just cue you for like a pace and stuff that's horrible. And we're going right from here. So you're gonna raise up probably right about yay high, maybe right about there. So again, just kind of mid range, everything's locked in stone. Just kind of keeping it on the front delt like that and just not letting it rest on your lap. working nothing's gonna change push 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 slower negative now come on let's put it in push I got you I got you I got you don't stop two more Dana last two come on fight those negatives hard push hard push hard push one more last one come on control 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 hard push hard push keep going don't quit keep going keep going keep going keep going keep going good Ow. Mm -hmm. Good, come on, Dana. Right there. Keep going. Good, keep going, come on. Come on, three here, come on. Come on, Dana. Two more, don't stop. No break at the bottom, one more. Good, bend that elbow, pull it in. Yep, press right here to the hand. Good, keep going, come on. Keep going, Dana, come on. Reach it out, reach it out, come on. Keep going, keep going, come on. Push, four to go. Four, three, come on, all the way to the hand. Two, last one. Good. So just nice tall posture, hands above the head. So we're gonna hit whatever, 10-ish that way. Then we're gonna go straight into kind of like a, another face pull variation, whatever you want to call it, but for rear delts, just drive the elbows wide. So 10 here. And then switch, switch, fly back. We're going front raise. So you'll hit whatever, another 10 there. And then the finisher on this one, this is when you'll feel extra special, is a press like this. All the way straight and down in. All the way straight. So we'll walk you through it as we go so you don't have to remember. Awesome, same pace, nothing changes. Come on, nothing changes, you got this. Come on, the lockout. Come on, Dana, right to it, let's go. Last set of the day, make it count. Lock, there we go, everyone like that, nothing changes. Come on, Dana, it just hurts now, push through it, come on. Come on, you got these. Keep going, Dana, come on. Come on, Dana, keep going, don't stop. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Keep going, last set, let's get some extra reps, come on. Keep going, Dana. You got six now, come on, push, 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 come on, you got him, go. Keep going, five, push straight up, you got it, four. Three, come on. Last two for the day, come on, straight up. One more. Good, gotcha. That's like a new starfish variation. 